Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another <laughs> Ellie Noir walkthrough. Uh, Case M, part three. Okay, where we left off. Uh, we were just in Central, so uh, we were just going to, uh, you know, go to the, uh, down to technical services, and Galloway still hasn't retrieved his hat. That's great. All right, we're just going to pass right through here, and all right, come on, Cole. Hurry it up, Cole, come on. We ain't got much time. All right, finally. Oh, okay, we're here at Technical Services with Pinker and Carruthers. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. All right, so the first envelope, it looks like what it has from... The from Remember the last Henry. line? It was on the Celine Henry case. Yeah, I remember that. Well, at least I do. And then the second is just a poem. You might want to take time to read it because it's pretty darn good. All right, now back to the game. Upon my soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. All right, so now we're going to break him. As, well, that's what Captain Donnelly said. Is that, is that the right term? I don't know. Maybe that is the right term. All right, so go upstairs, following Galloway, the interview room number two. And I don't think you can do that trick again with the last case with, uh, I think it was, uh, oh, DJ Muller. Yeah, it was the last time. Improved your attitude, Angel. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. All right. The first question is going to be last contact with victim. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight maybe. She didn't stay long. You could tell he was kind of hesitating there, so I would say that's a lie. And we do have ev evidence on that. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Now, our evidence will be the husband's alibi, as we received from the neighbors. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. With the car. It was a brown Ford coupe. All right, our second question is going to be jewelry taken from body. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Now, we didn't do anything too bad, so we'll just call that a truth. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. 
All right, our third question is going to be divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Now that would obviously be a lie. <laughs> obviously. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. All right, now uh, the evidence will be the attorney's letter because, well, you saw it, right? The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? What a coincidence. Alright, our last question is going to be bloodstained shirt found. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. i never seen that much blood when it comes to shaving. That would be doubt. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, the leader, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Orange Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Alright, so now we teleport out of that interview room, and uh, so now we're just going to go back and finally get into the car so we can go to the El Dorado bar. Finally. And I, yeah, I'm going to have my partner drive it. So, uh, yeah, let's just listen into the conversation. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. All right, finally back from that long cutscene. Um, so we're gonna pick up this uh, letter here. Press A, and uh, let's see what we get. Divorce papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him.
All right, so our first uh, question is going to be missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace, some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. All right, now he's looking around, feeling uncomfortable. Uh, let's just call this a doubt. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. All right, final question is going to be movements of victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared, and the drink was for Dutch courage. All right, now she was just going to be uh, staring at you, so that'll be truth, A. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. All right, now before we go, we're just going to check the back of the El Dorado bar and see what's going on out there, because I think there's something quite fishy. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No telling where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. All right, so now we're just going to go back to the Just Pick Fruit Market to uh, investigate our... Uh, well, to investigate our case, obviously. All right, let's go. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? All right, well, guys, uh, yeah, there's a handbag right there, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on Case 10, Part 4. See you.